Bună ziua and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make a traditional Romanian dish called Torba de Perisoare, which is basically translated Romanian meatball soup. So we are going to use the Optimum TC Pro M2 to make this dish. So first of all we're going to prepare our meatballs. So in our bowl here we've got some beef mince. Now you can use pork mince, lamb mince or beef mince, whichever you like. We've got uh, a bit of rice, uncooked rice. We've got some dill, we've got some parsley and one egg and some salt and pepper. So we're just going to mix all that together. So bear with me while I do that. It's probably a lot easier to get in with the fingers and I'll probably do that really, really soon. Okay, so our meatball mix is all nicely mixed together and now here comes the fun part. We're just going to get small amounts and you can make any size meatball you like. We like quite small and just make your little meatballs, press together. <clears throat> So it holds together. Now we are going to use the steaming basket with the TC Pro M2. So we're going to put our meatballs directly into that and then set that aside for later. So let's prepare our meatballs. Okay, so we're nearly finished with our meatballs and just the last couple to go. And you can see our basket is nicely full. And that is going to be cooking inside the TC Pro with, um, with our soup broth and uh, should be quite tasty, I imagine, as it always is. So, Chorba de, de Perishuare is um, one of the most traditional soups of Romania and it happens to be my husband's favourite. Right, so now we're on to the fun part. We're going to make our broth. So, first of all, we are going to uh, pop in our vegetables. So we've rough chopped the vegetables we're using today. So we're using onion, we've got parsnip, carrot, celery. Traditional Romanian soups would have celery root. Not all countries have that access. So we're using celery stalks here, but a capsicum and we've got a little bit of garlic as well. So we're just going to pop that into our TC bowl. And the beauty with the TC Pro M is that everything can get uh, chopped very quickly, much easier than doing it by hand. And we all like a little bit of convenience in our life. So whack all your vegetables in. And we're going to pop on our lid. And we are going to chop on speed, I'm going to go speed 7, the recipe says speed 6, you can decide how fine you like your um, vegetables chopped, I like mine on speed 7 and I'm going to do about 6 seconds. Right, let's see, have we done perfect, I'm happy with that. And always give a scrape down. Okay, so we've scraped down our bowl, and I like my vegetables uh, like that. So we are now going to add in a bit of oil, and I'm just winging it here. And we're going to pop our lid on, and we're going to just saute that on temperature 100 and we're going to go um, speed 1 and we're going to do that for 5 minutes so we'll see you back in 5 minutes so let's get cooking back to our soup This is what our vegetables are looking like. They've sautéed a little bit. It's already smelling aromatic. And that's what we want. So now 
we are going to add um, the next ingredients for our soup. So we're going to use, you can use either tomatoes or tomato paste. I'm using tomato paste today because I have that leftover from another recipe. So use what you have and um, you'll have a delicious soup. So just scrape all that out, waste not, want not. Now we are going to use um, some vegetable or chicken broth, pre preferably chicken if you have it. Um, I only have vegetable, so I'm popping that in. That's just going to help with having a really tasty soup. So that's about 500 mils. We want to have at least a litre of liquid, so I'm mixing my liquid between uh, vegetable broth and water and I'm also going to add in a can of tomatoes because I like a very tomatoey Romanian soup so I'm putting in a can of tomatoes it'll also make it a bit thicker and we've also got a little bit of water okay now we're just going to add a little bit more flavor in Romanians use uh, an ingredient called vegeta. This one is uh, chicken vegeta. I'm using chicken because I only had the vegetable stock. So we're just going to pop in about a half a teaspoon for the meantime. We can add more later if we need a bit more flavour. So we are just give that a little bit of a stir around. And we are going to cook that for 10 minutes on 100. We are going to go on reverse. We don't want to mush our vegetables up too much more, and we want 10 minutes. Okay, so we will let that do its thing, and we'll come back and add our meatballs in in a little while. Okay, so our 10 minutes of cooking has ceased, so we'll just gently take it off. It is hot, as you see, that's and it smells pretty yum. Nice and tomatoey, I like that. So now we're just going to take our meatballs in our steaming basket. And we're gently going to pop that in and give it a bit of a wriggle to get it down. And just jiggle these around to ensure that they're all going to be immersed. and it's going to bubble up so that should be fine so now we're just going to pop the lid back on again simple as and back to our 100 um, I'm going to stay on a hundred the recipe calls for 100 120 so you decide mine's quite full so I don't want to overdo it we're going to go into reverse stay on reverse speed one and we're going to go for 15 minutes and we'll come back when that's done and hopefully our meatballs are cooked. Alright, now you can see that that is super super hot so we're going to be very careful in removing our lid. She's been bubbling away. have it. Our meatballs look like they are cooked and they've been bubbling over so they've been nicely submerged so we're going to gently remove and this is the safe way of removing your basket using the spatula. So we're just going to just clean that off a little bit and we're just going to transfer that to a Plate and we're just going to pop that aside for a moment. So some of the other ingredients that we need for the soup is some lemon juice. So about the juice of one lemon. I've already got some 
lemon juice squeeze so that's going to be about two tablespoons now that just adds a little bit of tartness to romanian soups and it's what is super delicious also you may have heard of the herb lovage uh, in romanian it is lovstian and my favorite herb so you can buy that in uh, australia new zealand and you can grow it uh, finding it dried is very hard to find unless you're in Romania. So we're going to put a couple of teaspoons and maybe a little bit more because I really love the flavour of lovage. And so we're just going to give that a little bit of a stir in with our spatula. Oh, it smells good. Now we have already mixed two yolks of, an, of egg, so two egg yolks and some sour cream together. And we're just going to pop our lid back on. We're going to remove our measuring cup. And we are going to give ourselves 10 seconds. And we are going to go on the reverse and speed three. So I'll just get my spatula. So we're just going to pour that through the top. Now, before I do that, um, the National Day of Romania is on December 1st. So maybe this might be a good recipe for you to try to celebrate Romania on December 1. So I'm going to press start as we pour in our just give that just a few more seconds because it's quite thick in there and I'll just add the last out of our dish so this basically the egg and the sour cream makes a lovely creamy white soup so we'll just mix that through final look of our soup broth now we're going to just pop that into a bowl and add a few meatballs and we'll show you what that is going to look like as the finished dish